Lagu Pogo. Two fish glisten in the shallow waters of Laguna. In the dust of a construction site, a young child stumbles upon an egg-shaped rock. He playfully picks it up and throws it at the fish, missing his mark completely as the morning light stings his eyes. Years pass. A restaurant stands where the child once did. Underground pipes pump untreated sewage to the fish pens nearby. The water is brown with the excrement of foolish teenagers. With enough salt and cold beer, lunchtime questions of food safety are easily dismissed. Of course, the seafood comes from elsewhere. Many suns, many moons. There is a factory now. Pungent metallic smoke emanates from two chimneys under cover of darkness. Dump trucks unload their unholy contents into the black waters lit only by the moonlight. Chemicals have stripped fish bare, freed of their silvery scales. Colorful fungi grow on their mutant skin. Fishing is illegal. Two old gentlemen stand on the factory pier. The businessman thanks the mayor for the immediate cleanup of the recent fish kill. What cleanup? The mayor asks. Without warning, a giant serpent-like creature, the width of a small car and the length of a bus, leaps from the lake. The terrifying jaws of Lagu Pogo are the last thing they ever see.